uh, let's talk about uh, the investing uh, in landscape right now. A special guest joining us uh, today, Nitin Jain of uh, Edelweiss is here with us. Uh, Nitin, uh, good afternoon. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, let's start by understanding the new fund which you guys are planning, the long shot fund. What's the uh, hypothesis behind this new one? Uh, uh, what, what exactly is the thinking when you back tested it? Uh, what did you find it will apply in this kind of a market? Yeah, first of all, good afternoon, Najay. And I think uh, I must share that uh, it's actually a very, very simple long shot hedge fund. And I think uh, it's interesting that. Uh, Probably it's a it's a very big strategy, right? Like in US, you would have three and a half trillion dollars of assets under management. In China, you would have around six hundred billion dollars of assets under management in long short. But somehow in India, uh, even today, I think we we think there's hardly more than uh, a little, maybe more than one and a half billion dollars of assets under management in active long short strategy. Uh, and and I think the root of that is probably that returns, especially in the fixed income space, historically have been quite high. Uh, but as interest rates have come down, as you see that the fixed deposit rates are maybe 6%, post tax is 3.5%, 4%. Uh, and even when you look at equity returns, uh, I think though the returns are reasonably good, maybe 12 to 14, but the kind of volatility that people have seen, allocations can't exceed beyond a point, right? So people are looking for products which can give returns which are somewhere in between, between 9, 10, 12%, but the volatility is contained. And that is what uh, I think uh, a edge kind of a product delivers to our customers. Returns in the range of 10 to 14%, but volatility which is significantly lesser, drawdowns which are much, much lesser than what uh, index delivers. And we think that there is a tremendous appetite for that kind of a product. But the core is that capability, and I think we are very lucky to have found a fund manager and a team which is competent on delivering that. Right. No fair point. Uh, yes, it's a roaring bull run out there, and uh, uh, you know, though it, you know, we, we may have different opinions on what stage of the market is it. Uh, clearly, volatility is something which takes a toll on investors. But what's your analysis of? the phase of cycle. You've seen so many cycles before, Nitin. Uh, the way macros are falling in place, earnings, etc., government push, expansionary budget, all of that. What stage of the market cycle are we in? I think it's uh, one thing I must say that this kind of a rally has surprised uh, the, the biggest veterans of the market. Okay, I think we have seen everything that we could have possibly seen in our lifetime. We have seen seven and a half thousand and nifty and we have seen 15,000 and nifty in the same year something that none of us predicted right uh, so i think overall we are extremely bullish on the market so there is no doubt about that because something has changed in the last six months and i think a lot of credit for that has to go to rbi i think the way they handled the crisis uh, I, I think i was quite skeptical about uh, how the companies were being dealt with and how the liquidity was not reaching uh, especially specific segments of the market. But when I look back, the way things have uh, panned out, I think it's just fantastic. And I, and I think a lot of uh, credit to the schemes that were launched, both by the government and the RBI, uh, I think have, it have become very, very effective. And then you couple that with the budget that came out. I think a marvelous budget. And I think a budget uh, 10 years down the line, when we look back, we'll realize uh, really changed the trajectory of the growth path uh, that India was on. So overall, extremely bullish. And I think we are, in my view, uh, definitely stretched in even though uh, because of this immediate bull run that the, the market has seen a 50-60% rally in a very short frame of, my, uh, frame of time. But uh, I, I, I would be surprised if if. if it does not deliver at least 10 to 14 percent compounded over the next five seven years i've never felt so uh, you know optimistic about the future given everything every piece of macro that we are seeing come in the favor of the country so long term very bullish but the valuations of course you make you feel a little stretched at this point in time in particular Mm -hmm. Right. Nitin, you also interact with a lot of uh, 
friends and partners and associates from the international community. Uh, in fact, funds, uh, foreign funds have been big buyers uh, in the last couple of months. Now you have a big foreign partner in your business as well. Uh, what are they really seeing in the Indian uh, investor community, which uh, Indian investors are actually missing out on? Uh, can you elaborate or can you share some uh, insights on the conversations you may be having? I think, uh, first of all, I must say that uh, we have been very blessed that we have been, uh, we have partnered with some of the best in the in the world, whether it is PAG, whether it is CDPQ, whether it is Allianz, some of the finest institutions in the world have, have chosen us as a partner to invest in India. Uh, but having said that, I think most of these institutions have very long-term horizons uh, when they think about India opportunity. And hence, uh, if you think about 10, 15, 20 years, kind of demographics that we have in India, the kind of growth potential that we have in India, the kind of underpenetration that we have in every possible sector, I think it's just it's a very, very compelling case for investment. I mean, just think about even financial services. Where are we today in terms of alternative asset management, for example? I mean, maybe Maybe we are 20, 25 years behind where US was, where US is. So now people might argue that, oh, we have grown at 25, 30, 40% in the last two, three years. And hence, we, we seem to have overdone the growth. But the reality is we are still 1% of where US markets are. And that just tells you the overall runway that is available. So anybody who's thinking 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, India is not a story that you can miss and add to the fact that there are very few democracies which are so large and vibrant and where global money can really allocate and make uh, judgment for 10-15 years and hence we find that a lot of FDI money will continue to come in long term pension, long term money from pension funds, sovereigns, we, we continue to be very bullish on that kind of a money uh, uh, you know uh, flowing into India what has happened though in the last six nine months I think a lot of uh, FI money has also come in which I think is, is also partially led by the stimulus that you have seen globally right and that, that money finds its way in and will also find its way out so I am not as sanguine about that part of the uh, market because that is quite volatile comes and goes out but I, I just feel very bullish about the long-term uh, capital allocators being in India for a very, very long time, Ajay. Right. All right, Nitin. On that optimistic note, I'll let you go. Thank you so much for chatting with us today and good luck with this new fund. Thank you. Thank time you. for a short break. On the other side, we'll get you more management chat and some stock-specific stories.